Hey everybody, Darren Cross here. Welcome to Module 3 of Business 400, Driving Business Opportunity. So in Module 1, uh, you introduced or you put together a blog that introduced a product or service using the blue ocean mentality uh, to the market. Um, throughout the class, we're actually going to develop that idea. So in Module 2, you actually um, put out your outline that shows how you're going to implement and introduce that, that product or service to the market. Now we're going to continue on and we're going to um, think about your product from a couple of different perspectives. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the business model canvas. And so there are some resources and I, I actually want to run you through these resources here. Let me let me take a look here. So if we look at um, the resources that you actually will be using, these are great. This video comes straight from Strategizer. They are the ones who developed the business model canvas. This is just another version of that video. Um, this um, is a, another link that um, gives you a general idea about the business model canvas. Okay, so we'll look at it. This is someone's version of the business model canvas. And I will tell you, this is the one that's included in the link or included in the course, I don't like it. So we're gonna we're gonna shift just a little bit. And what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go straight to the horse's mouth on the business model canvas. Okay. So the business model canvas um, developed developed by Dr. Osterwalder um, actually um, is on this site, the strategizer site, and they do an excellent job of explaining exactly what all of this is about. But why do we care about the canvas? The canvas actually puts together or helps you to think about the assumptions re related to nine building blocks of introducing a new product or service to the market or starting up your business. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is have this link um, in with this video so that you can click on it. This is where I want you to get information. They do a very good job of describing each of the nine building blocks. So what I want you to do, go to this website. And it tells you all about what the business model canvas is. This is the actual video that we have in the course. So it's the same exact video. Um, and then you're going to go through each of the building blocks. Okay. You're going to go through the building blocks. So they're down here. Now, the business model canvas is based upon three general. These nine building blocks are based upon three general um, concepts The the concept of desirability. So will customers actually want your product? Feasibility. Is this something that our company is actually prepared to be able to deliver? And then viability. Is this something that will make money and something that can that we can actually something that can actually sustain us? OK, so these are the, the questions that we have to answer and the assumptions that we have to address. And if you go into each of these, they actually do a very good job here. So um, what I want you to do is I want you to dig into each one of these. OK, I want you to click on each one of these. What you'll see is the value propositions. It gives you a, a, a paragraph here. But then when you dig in, it tells you exactly what you are after when we're talking about value proposition. OK, so while we're talking about value proposition, I want you to think about a couple of things. I already posted a video that tells you that gives you that template on value proposition, right? So this company delivers a product that helps customers do this, right? Um, these are the things that are about that are are actually value propositions. It's not that my company is great and they they um, take care of the world and all of that. It's that they offer the customer something. You have to understand that the customer is after value. OK, so. When you look at the, and these aren't the only ones, but when you look at this, these are the value propositions that companies can offer. This product is new. And so, and keep in mind that you're answering these questions, right? So uh, what value do we deliver to the customer? What benefit? Um, which one of our customers' problems are we helping to solve? So you, in, in, in um, developing your value proposition, you're solving a problem. You're helping them to realize some kind of benefit right which job are we helping the customer to get done which customer need which customer need are we satisfying right so you're you're focused on the customer it's not about my company is great they're sustainable they do good for the environment it's about focusing on 
how they're actually addressing and what they're proposing, what value they're proposing to offer to your customer. Okay, so when you think about this, they can offer newness. This is a new product that is cool. The performance, this product performs better or different than anything else. It's a customized product specifically for you. We are making sure that that thing that's frustrating you is getting done. The design features are really cool. Um, this this is helping you to this BMW is cool because now you can have that status, right? So I'm I'm the BMW guy and I get to drive in the car. Price is a good thing. It's cheaper. It's less expensive. Um, cost reduction. It helps you as a business reduce what you're spending. Right. You don't have to take the same risk. You have you now have access to something that you previously didn't have access to. It's now convenient for you to do something that these are value propositions. OK, so I want you to focus in on these and use the template. And like I said, use that same value proposition from now on as you go through the course. OK, so um, I'm not going to do this for each one. But I just want you to know, I wanted to talk about value proposition because that is the key. You need to be focused on that. But um, I want you to think about what's going on, right? So customer segments, what you're saying is, how are we actually going to segment people and which segments are we dealing with? So these are the questions you're going to answer. As you go in, you need to have some kind of um, well-developed answer to the assumptions that's underneath each one of these. Channel channels how are we actually going to get things to people so this is about how we reach them with a message and also how we reach them with the product so are we going to deliver this price is this going to be an online store or is it going to be something that um they have to go to or you know do how do they actually experience this product and get that product to them um customer relationships what are we trying to say here we're trying to say what kind of relationships are we developing with this product is this product helping us to get new customers? Um, are we trying to retain our old customers or are we just trying to um, take our old customers and um, get sales up amongst a, a population of old customers? Dig into here and deal and look at the types of relationships that you're going to be after, okay? Revenue streams. Now we're talking about viability. Is this something that actually can be viable? So what different revenue streams are there out there that are going to generate money for us and then also cost structure you're just you're describing all the costs that you have that are going to be in play um as you are going to be delivering this product it's not just you're not just able to say um we're just going to do this and, and life is going to be good what cost does that bring about what things do you now have to take into consideration if you were a business you have to think about this you know what i mean so your thing is you know, we have this new machine that's going to deliver a great value to our customer, but this machine does cost $100,000 a month in power consumption, right? So you have to think about all of the cost structures that are related to your product or to, to the new product that you're going to introduce. Feasibility. Can we even put this into play? So what you're going to look at is what resources are necessary in order to do this, right? When we're talking about resources, what are we saying? Assets, capabilities. Um, and um, um, competencies. Assets are things that we have. Do we have stuff that helps us do what we need to do? Do we have capabilities? Do we have um, functionalities that will help us do what we need to do? And are we good at certain things that'll make it easier for us to actually um, introduce this product, okay? Key activities, what are the things that we have to do and be good at, right? So. Um, what is it really going to take in order to be successful to do this? Well, our marketing has to be on point or we really have to have our manufacturing be um, super efficient. You need to think about what keys that key activities are going to be necessary in order to deliver this. And you're going to be thinking about this as and this module is not the only module that you're going to be thinking about the business model canvas. You're going to be going through and actually developing each one of these nine building blocks um, as you go through. OK. What partnerships do we have to have? Do we need um, uh, strategic alliances or joint ventures with people that are gonna that are gonna be helpful for us? Do we have to develop new buyer supplier relationships or supply chain relationships um, that are gonna be helpful for us? What what's necessary and what do we actually have? So what what you're really doing with this stuff is you're really trying to say when you're looking at feasibility, you're saying what's necessary for us to deliver this product and do we really have those things okay um and um 
I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we, I, I normally talk about these items before I talk about these items, but they talked about viability beforehand. Okay, so that's the that's the business model canvas side of this. Okay, now there are other things that we need to be thinking about as we as we're doing our um, module three as well. So the next thing that we're going to be going into. So this is the business model canvas is about the uh, discussion that you're going to talk about where you're talking about the business model canvas and what you think you can get into play first off, you know, quickest and that kind of thing. But we're also going to talk about the elevator pitch. So let's look at that. Um, when you in module three, let's go back here. In module three, you're you're going to also be. Um, your milestone one submission is all about making your elevator pitch. So let's talk about this. Now, an elevator pitch, I don't like the fact that they're calling this an elevator pitch because an elevator pitch is really supposed to be like 30 seconds to a minute. But this is really like a quick pitch, right? So um, it's the moment of truth. You're going to introduce this product. This is the first um, pitch meeting um, before you actually do anything. You're going to introduce this product to your senior management team. So you're gonna to go to the C-suite and say, hey, we were thinking about developing this and that's what this pitch is all about. So um, I wanted to just talk specifically about these things so that I can get you guys thinking about what's necessary in order to be successful with this, okay? I want you to be super focused. So this can be a video or an audio pitch um, where you're addressing all of these things or you can actually write down your script and uh, address that stuff as well. If you, no matter what, I want you to actually address each one of these things, okay? I want you to address each one of these things. If you're writing it down, make these things the headings on your paper. And that way you know that you're going to be talking about them. So let's go through this and I'll tell you specifically how to be addressing each of these things, right? So introduction, you're gonna introduce your product or service. Use that template that we were talking about. Right. This can be done in, you know, three or less sentences. Right. So ABC company is offering a new product called the this, that or whatever that is going to help this specific group of people with this specific problem. The cool thing about this is that it provides this benefit, this benefit, this benefit without this pitfall, this pitfall and this pitfall. There's nothing else like it. And we think that this is going to take take the market by storm. That's really the, the, the essence of what you're after, okay? Don't get off track with that. You're just saying, this is the product, we serve this, this, we provide this benefit to this group of people. And if you're avoiding pitfalls, talk about that as well. That's it. You're just introducing the product, okay? Then you go into how this fits. Now, how this fits is very, very specific. There's a couple of things that we're looking at here. Strategic plan and the mission. These are both aggregate, corporate mindset concepts that you have to be thinking about. And you're trying to determine, is the thing that I'm proposing to introduce in line with their strategic plan and their mission? Now you have to understand what their strategic plan is. And I wanna get you thinking about strategic plans. So I'm going to provide you um, another list of videos that kind of help you to think about um, what strategy is really all about and what strategic plan is all about, right? So we're going to look at um, what companies are trying to do, whether they're growing or whether they're, um, you know, trying to just maintain or whether they are, um, you know, introducing to a new market. I'll help you think about that linearly. So before you even attempt this, I need you to be looking at these strategic videos so that you can understand what strategic plan is really all about. And then look at your company to determine what strategic plan you think they are after. Okay. And the mission of the company. So you got to look at the mission of the company, how it fits. So you're going to address, so this is the title and then you're going to say this, this product fits within the strategic plan and mission of the company in the following ways. Strategic plan, Boom, talk about how it aligns, you know, their plan, their strategic plan is to do this. This product is perfectly in line with that. The corporate mission is to do this. This this product is right in line with their mission of helping customers, whatever it might be, okay? And you need to, 
in order to think about this, you need to be thinking about if it really is a good fit with what they're able to do and what their assets are, right? So you're thinking about what their assets are, what their capabilities and their competencies are in order to determine if this really makes sense. Is this something that they really can do? Is this, is this in their wheelhouse? That's what you're really trying to determine. But when you're addressing these things, I want you to use the key words, how it fits. This fits in with their strategic plan and mission in the following ways. Their strategic plan is to blah, 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 blah. This is great because it fits in in this way. Their mission is to blah, 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 blah. This product is in line with their mission. Okay. Justification. This is the next heading. You're justifying your product based upon if it's going to make sense financially. Now, the justification here and the profitability here um, are kind of getting, you know, a little bit mixed up here. But what you're basically saying is you're looking at whether or not you think or you, you're hoping that this is going to get new customers or that it's going to grow um, sales within your existing customer base. But what you need to kind of determine is in order to justify this, one of the things is ROI and ROI means return on your investment. In order to understand what your ROI is, you need to understand what your actual investment was. So what you need to do is, with this section is just, you need to, um, this can be done in one paragraph. So three to five sentences where you say, in order to implement this, uh, <clears throat> this new product, it's gonna cost about X number of dollars in order to develop the product, um, develop a marketing plan and distribute the product out to customers. We think that that's going to result in increased revenue of this amount or increased profitability of this amount. Based upon this, um, this product is justified, right? So your deal is if you make more money than you spend, then you have a return. Um, now, companies have retired, re uh, required returns that they're looking for. So they'll say, we're not going to do anything that's not going to give us a 10% return or whatever it is uh, because of alternatives, right? So I can put my money in something else and make more money. So we're not concerned about that right now. We just want to, we want you to estimate the expenditures. You don't have to guess this exactly. Most of the time companies are not exact with it anyway, but I want you to have some kind of a reasonable guess, right? Um, and uh, you're going to talk about what you think the profitability would be, right? Uh, and by answering this question about profitability, you can do that in this section, justification. I think that's a better place for it. When we're talking about enhancing the mission, the question that I want you to answer is, does introducing this product actually help them actualize the mission that they're after? So this is saying, does it fit in with the mission? This is saying, does it actually help them deliver their mission better, right? Here you're saying their mission is to do this. This is doing that. So this is a good fit. Here you're saying, not only is it a good fit, but because of this, that, and the other, it actually helps them to do more of what they are proposing to do with their mission, okay? And don't get off in the weeds with these things. We're only looking at these headings and we are trying to just answer the questions, okay? When you're making a pitch, you only need to say what is needed to be said, right? When you start talking about all this other stuff, then the executives are gonna say, wait a minute, now you said something about this, uh, now that's got me thinking and you don't want to do that you just want to go through and 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 uh you want to be uh specific about what you're actually addressing here okay so again make sure that you have these headings on your paper if you're not turning in a paper make sure you address these headings and i and i need you to say these words right i'd like to introduce to you a product this product fits within the strategic plan and mission of the company in the following ways. The justification for this product is, this product enhances the mission in the following way, okay? Now be super specific, hit these things and nothing else, we're not talking about anything else, you just wanna get in and hit these questions and get out, okay? So I hope that that provides some clarity to you about everything that you need to do this week, uh, but if it doesn't, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and I'll tell you that the best way to reach out to me is, um, is actually, you can email, but I, and I'm, I'm actually way better about including this email into my daily routine. Um, I'm not quite there with looking at the general discussion board tabs. I know somebody left a message there and I wasn't able to get to them, but what you can do is actually, um, is actually text me. 
I gave you my, my cell phone number. Text me. If you have questions about anything, text me. If I can get to you, I can. If not, I'll get to you when I can. Okay? So good luck with everything and reach out if you need.